We are celebrating 75 years here at King 5 this week, and our programming has a long history well outside of the newsroom. From comedy to weird science and uncovering the secret magical corners of the Pacific Northwest, Evening's Jim Dever looks back at some of the programs that took us far beyond our newsroom. Anyone when I walked in to King 5 in 1989, what astonished me was the massive commitment to local programming. You know, you had shows like Almost Live, Seattle Today, Evening, which became Evening Magazine, and then back to Evening. All those shows just bringing this unique content to the viewers of the Northwest who may not even realize how fortunate they are to have all these local shows showcasing the area. It really is a gift. John Stofflet spent more than 15 years at King 5, working at Evening as a reporter and producer. He also did a stint as a high five and white guy. With Evening, John introduced us to local luminaries, sat down with corporate giants, and traveled the world. We're in India at the Taj Mahal for lunch, and by the end of the day, we're in the tropical paradise of the Seychelles Islands. And viewers have been lucky enough to go along for the ride. <laughs> Since its debut on King 5 in 1986, Evening has been Western Washington's guide to the Northwest and beyond. It's the only show on King 5 without a dedicated studio, taking viewers on the road to discover fascinating people and places. Audiences also journeyed across the region with Northwest Backroads. The show launched in 1998, hosted by 70s heartthrob and star of Eight is Enough, Grant Goodeve. King produced the sketch comedy show Almost Live for 15 years, beginning in 1984, catapulting the careers of host John Keister, Bill Nye the Science Guy, and actor Joel McHale. The show had a live audience, and bits like The Lame List, The Ballard Driving Academy, and Green River Dance were so popular in the Pacific Northwest that the local comedy show aired at 11.30 p.m., relegating Saturday Night Live to a later time slot. Approximately seven minutes ago at 6.53 p.m., the Space Needle collapsed. Almost Live also gained national attention in 1989 for an April Fool's prank, a fake news report that the Space Needle had collapsed. It was so convincing, some people believed it, and the show had to issue an apology. It's these legacies and dedication to local programming that make King 5 stand out across the Northwest and the country. I was so privileged to be a part of King 5 75 years for, for 16 years. In that commitment to local programming, whether it was the majority of the work that I did for Evening and a few bits here and there for Almost Live, really the highlight of my career, just so fun to be a part of a station that is so committed to the community and to bringing people a great product. And hey, Evening's still going, still going. <laughs> 